Hello Intermediate Challengers! We're focusing on right hand work today for the double stops in the 100 pipers. What we're going to do, we've talked a little bit about removing fingers from the bow. Today's focus entirely is about bending the thumb at both joints. So right where the thumb meets the hand and then your second joint here. So both joints bent instead of anything coming out straight. And the reason for that, if both thumbs are bent, our wrist is nice and open. We have access to use both the flexibility in our fingers and the wrist to play a really fluid bow. If we straighten our thumb, we lock that wrist and we start getting tension in our playing. So I want us to focus today on only loading the bow with fingers two, three, and bent thumb and no first finger, no pinky. Be careful here. One of the things we're trying to do is keep first and pinky off in order to keep the hand relaxed. But if you start playing and then you go rigid with first and pinky fingers, uh, you'll end up with the same uh, tight wrist. So make sure one and pinky are just going to floppy over the bow, but not actually making contact. And then if you notice that you're kind of doing a hang loose feel and those fingers are going tight, that wrist will tighten up again. So why is this important? We've talked about first finger being the drive between the, the pressure to create the double stops. So in doing so, I want you to feel what it is that fingers two and three do to help you with the double stops and to keep that wrist open while focusing on the bent thumb. So you're pretty much a magician because you're thinking about ten things at one time. All right, here we go. So this is fingers two, three, and a bent thumb. Curl fingers. directional control without having first finger on but I'm really conscious of my bent thumb my bent thumb and how two and three engage with them so work through the hundred pipers today two strings no first finger no pinky try that about five times and shake it out come back to it again let me know how you're doing come on over to the Facebook page drop me a note give me a video let me know how these exercises are working for you we'll see you later